Hello and welcome to Czech Republic. Today's episode will be about successful students from Czech universities. The first one we're going to see is Anna, who actually, as her school project, designed a tram. This brand new tram is actually based on an old traditional T3 tram that you can see around Prague. This one is coupe, which means it's sort of a convertible. And the person behind it is Anna Marešová over there, my friend. So let's go talk to her. So Anna, this is is this your school project or how did how did this tram happen? Uh, actually, this is not my school project, but I did tram before as my Barcelona major project, and it was a tram for Prague as well. And what what school did you study? Uh, I study University of Fiana Evangelisti Purkin. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, listen, can we uh, drive the tram for a bit? Can we yeah, take it I for will, a ride? Yeah, I, I will ask the driver. And ask the yeah. driver. <laughs> this is the Prague Castle. That's Prague Castle? Oh, I wasn't sure. <laughs> My school wasn't so good, so we just asked the driver where can he take us, and he just looked at you and he said, well, I'll take uh, Madame home. Oh, yeah, sometimes possible. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a happy day for me today because I drive by my tram. Your own baby. Yeah. Hi, bye bye. I mean, that girl is living her dream. She has her own tram, drives around the city, plays her music. Ah, I gotta go back to school. For the next successful student, we had to go to the only rocket we have in Czech Republic because he, believe it or not, is a rocket scientist. Hey Jan, how's it going, man? Hey Jan. He actually has a NASA shirt and I have a NASA hat. You shouldn't wear it. Why know? not? Well, only people working for NASA should wear it. Oh. <laughs> so what do you mean you work for NASA? You, you do their shirts or stuff like that? <laughs> no, no, no. Here in Czech Republic, we have multiple research centers and I work for one of them, which analyzes NASA data from their mission. Also, we work with the European Space Agency because Czech Republic is a part of European Space Agency. Did your studies in Czech Republic help you at all to get where you are right now? Yes, very much. I studied mostly in Czech Republic. I studied at Czech Technical University in Prague, I studied mechanical engineering, and right now I'm trying to pursue my PhD degree at Charles University. Right now we're working on a project called Marzonaut. Marzonaut. Mar Marzonaut. We're starting a lab that will grow plants in Mars-like environment, and hopefully this technology will help us grow food for future astronauts. So you're like Matt Damon. And you're doing this project on one of the Czech universities, correct? Yes, at Czech uh, University of Agriculture. Agriculture, because uh, the, the atmosphere there is just like on Mars, huh? Oh, very much, but it's the closest we could get. So. It's the closest you could get. Uh, so when are you yourself going to fly to Mars? Well, when the people will fly there. So in 15 years time. 15 years. And if there's something you want to tell to students if they should study in Czech Republic, is it worth it? Is it going to get them to Mars? <laughs> Uh, Czech Republic is surprisingly great for studying space sciences and uh, to get the knowledge you need to get involved in space research. So for our next successful student, we came to a tennis court. Uh, that's Dennis. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Uh, so what are you going to show us here? Why are we here? Well, first of all, you have to surf over the net. I need to surf? Right, yeah. Okay, that's easy. I mean, I've played tennis for years, so this will be... Uh, Easy peasy. Oh ho ho! So Dennis, what is it that your app does? You, I saw you take pictures of me with your phone. Right, so it detects all fast moving objects. Basically objects which move faster than its size in one frame rate. So basically it can measure the, your speed, speed of surf, and you can post-process it and you can basically do many things with it. My first program for detecting fast moving objects was a desktop app for a computer, but then one master student he basically re-implemented my application for a mobile app. So basically anybody can download this app, put it right here or somewhere mm -hmm. in a court and measure the surfs and then like, measure average speed of surf. And how was it for you to study in Czech Republic? I think it's a perfect country to study. I really like the student life here. And basically you can choose any subject you like, 
and you can join the research group. So that was my case. When I came here, I would like I wanted to work on research, and yeah, I just started working on it. It's very easy. And for example, my university paid a trip to Hawaii, so I showed the our program there, our methods, uh -huh. and it was quite quite nice. They liked it. Yeah, yeah. they liked it, and I liked the trip to Hawaii. You <laughs> like the trip to Hawaii I bet. What's the other uses I can use it for other sports? So, for example, tennis, table tennis, then volleyball. Football, basically any sport you can imagine with a ball. And for example, you can actually detect the hailstorm or any storm which falls down or some falling objects. Or for example, if you have a tube with apples and all apples fall down, you can count how many of them fell down. Because they're also fast moving objects when they fell down all of the trees. Thanks to the, to the Czech University, I was accepted into a PhD program in Zurich, Switzerland. And it's a nice possibility. Mm -hmm. And I was accepted into ETH, which is the best university in Switzerland. And maybe like seventh best university in the world, Very but good. I plan to come back probably. Okay. Like, I like Czech Republic. Yeah. And do you know how to surf? Uh, well, I have never played really. <laughs> Stick okay. with engineering. Right, right. right. <laughs> so this was Anna, Jan and Dennis with their projects that came up from Czech universities. Uh, if you want to see more students that studied here and their stuff that they created, go to studyin.cz slash alumni, where you will find more projects that were born in the Czech universities. And if you yourself are an alumni from Czech university, head out to the same website, studyin.cz slash alumni, to register because they're building a network of all the students that came from Czech universities. Or if you want to study in the Czech Republic, I'm sure you will have many, many questions of how, where, what, uh, go to study in. They will help you. Uh, go either to their website or their Facebook page. We teamed up with them for this episode to try to lure you in to study, not only visit. <laughs>